There's only a couple of good single-handers or really standout single-handers. Obviously, Roger Federer, but Stanislav Wawrinka, Olivia Rokas and Andrei Golubev, very similar in style, those, those later three. going on in the system. Had plenty of time to have a shot at it. Watching Yuzny in the last Does couple of days, how he's been really going after his forehand, especially cross court. Been... Tactically, I think Yuzny will use his slice backhand just for a little bit of variation, but also nullify the, the sort of the weaponry in the forehand and backhand that Golubev has. He did it very well in the semi-finals against Andreev, just to change it up but keep the ball low. The surface is not, doesn't have as many dead spots as what it had last year. They've put an extra layer of board underneath, so the bounce is a lot truer. It's been taking well to the top spin, but then also the slice where it's able to skid through. We talked to Golubev the other day after a match and talked about, well, why is he 40? Why is he not top 20? And people sort of compare him to that. It's probably still coming down to backing up tournament after tournament with those sort of wins and then obviously having a, a good grand slam somewhere along the track. Now that's the shot we'll be looking for. That's the shot he did so well against Soddling. And also the fact that Soddling doesn't vary his pace too much. The ball comes through hard and fast every time, and that's what Golubev loved. He just sat on that, whereas in his previous match and this match today, I believe they're going to change that pace up and make him generate it himself. So you mentioned that uh, Yuzny may uh, mix it up a bit against uh, Golubev. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, he'll do to Yuzny, but we'll talk about that when we come back from the men's final here in Kuala Lumpur. Again, the change in pace there, this time from Golubev. Power in the back end, just a, sailing a little long there from Yuzny. So, very important point right now. up out of that ball there, that return there, Golubev. He's been doing it so well all week, just staying down, staying really balanced, keeping his head still. So just misjudging the flight. And that's the sort of shot we've been seeing all week long. Taking him really 10 games just to, or 10 games plus, just to sort of 40, 50. start making me look good. The fact that that's what we talked about. Even Yuzny hasn't really lived up to his best up to this point in the match. It's a great shot.
sells that there from Musney. One of the tougher shots for a single-handed backhand. Try and play that top two long. Leighton Hewitt disguised his exceptionally well as a double-hander. Yeah. That's more like it from Andre Golubev. That winner now moves ahead 6-5. Positive there from Mikhail Yuzny. Six games all time. Right? Little up now. Six all. So the players get one more challenge. And Jason, I'll ask you, what's your pick for this tiebreak? Well, I think I'm going to go with uh, Mikhail Yuzny just because of his experience and uh, the fact that he's beaten uh, Golubev uh, three times previously, twice in 2010. What about yourself? I think I might stick with him, but. Uh, it's going to be tight. We talk about the experience playing a major role there. Wow. Fair enough yeah. done with the approach shot from Golubev. And Yuzny, well, the right option there, going cross court. Plenty of court to work with. You know, sometimes that first point there, that passing shot, and the, the, the crowd gets really involved. Sometimes that's the thing that really lifts a player like Golubev as well. A little more intensity. Oh. Yeah, that serve out wide has worked so well for Mikhail Yuzny. He's used it on the first point of just about every service game. Now he's able to use it on the second serve there. And, well, let's say the biggest point to, this, to, this, to date in the set. There's that serve again, out wide to the forehand. So it's just the one mini break still. Golubev having to work hard these next couple of points. Try and apply a little bit of pressure to Yuzny. Still has uh, two more set points. The number four seed. What's the chances of him serving wide here again? Well, it's served him very well up to this point. play a role to a player of the caliber of Mikhail Yuzny but the tempo has just gone out of his serve lost his rhythm now Mikhail Andre Golubov now chance to tie it up still a set point for Yuzny well, we the the left far sideline ball called out so nothing to lose. He doesn't look so convinced though, does he? He's standing there ready. Yeah, he's not so sure about this, but let's uh, see what the Malaysia Truly Asia official review says. Oh, he's got it. Can you believe it? Six off. The fact he was there ready, actually say, you know, he's not so convinced, it wasn't a bad thing, because if it was a fault, he's ready to go again with his second serve, which obviously it's the biggest point of the set. So good challenge there from Golubev. That backhand down the line, he's been much more aggressive, Andre Golubev, and he's been rewarded here late in this tie break. Now gets a set point of his own. Aggressive return there from Golubev, just a floating slice from Yuzny. A little too tough to handle for Golubev, 7 all. 